Ni hao. In this video, we'll introduce addition in binary, both unsigned and signed. First, a few general arithmetic terms that can be useful to identify specific parts of arithmetic operations. When adding, the starting number is called the augend, the number added to it is called the addend, and the result is called the sum. When subtracting, the starting number is termed the minuend. The number that is being taken away from it is called the subtrahend, and we call the result the difference. Lastly, multiplication. The two numbers we multiply together are called the multiplicand and then the multiplier. In this longhand approach, we now have intermediate steps. The partial products are computed from single bits of the multiplier applied to the multiplicand. Each next partial product is added to the previous, giving a running sum. And at the end, we get the final result called the product. When performing longhand binary addition, we compute one column at a time, working from right to left. When doing so, there are only a small number of possible sums. We can have a case of 0 plus 0 equals 0. We can have 1 plus 0 equals 1, or 0 plus 1 equals 1. Those are simple. More interesting is 1 plus 1. In decimal, this would give 2. We don't have a symbol for 2 in binary, so we write it as 1, 0. We can then parse this 1, 0 into 2 bits. The 0 is called the sum bit and comes down as part of the final result. The 1 is called the carry and will be added to the next column. What about this last bullet? How can we ever be adding 3 bits together if there are only 2 original numbers in the column? This case could occur when we have a carry in from the previous column. If we ever have 1 plus 1 plus 1, that would be 3 in decimal, or 1, 1 in binary. In other words, in binary, we get a sum bit of 1 and a carry out of 1. Let's apply those simple rules to this example. The first column is 1 plus 0 equals 1. The second column is 1 plus 1 equals 1, 0. Drop down the 0 to the final sum and carry over the 1 to the next column. Next, we see 1 plus 0 plus 1, which equals 1, 0. Now, in the final column, we see 1 plus 1 plus 1. This produces 1, 1. The sum bit comes down. The carry bit moves over to the next column, where it adds to nothing, giving this leftmost 1. It is always a good idea to check our work by converting each component to decimal. The augend is 8 plus 2 plus 1, or 11. The add end is 8 plus 4 plus 2, or 14. The sum is 16 plus 8 plus 1, or 25. And sure enough, it all checks out. That example was an unsigned binary. When working in two's complement form, the approach is similar, but with a couple other considerations. First, we need the correct number of bits for the add end and aug end. If we are working in 8 bits, then pad zeros to the front of each number until we get to eight total bits. Then we add each column just like we saw before. Once complete, we discard any final carry out. So if adding an eight bit form and the sum has nine bits, get rid of that leftmost bit. Finally, we need to verify that we did not encounter an overflow. As we know, eight bit twos complement numbers can only fall in the range of negative 128 to positive 127. In general, an overflow will occur when the magnitude of a value is too large to be represented in a given format with a given number of bits. All values in a calculation, inputs and outputs, must be able to be represented for the calculation to be correct. Let's look at some bite-sized examples using 4-bit 2's complement form. The range of acceptable values here are negative 8 to positive 7. So we need to verify that the augend, addend, and sum are all within that range in order to guarantee a correct addition. Valid examples are listed on the left, but let's focus on the invalid examples. Why would 5 plus 3 fail? The sum would be positive 8, 
which is above the maximum of 7. Why would negative 9 plus 4 fail? In theory, the sum would be negative 5, which is fine, but the og end, negative 9, is too low, meaning we could never start the operation correctly. Overflows are a constant consideration when working with computers. Why? Because computers have limited memory. In many programming languages, for example, you are able to allocate a certain amount of memory for each variable, maybe 8 bits, maybe 64 bits. The more bits you use, the broader the range of numbers you can represent, and the less likely you are to experience an overflow. But the trade-off is that more bits per variable means a greater memory cost. Let's look at an 8-bit addition example. The goal is to add decimal negative 5 and positive 34. First, convert these decimal numbers into 8-bit twos complement form. How do we get negative 5? First, write out the value for positive 5. In unsigned binary, that is 101. Now, pad with zeros until you reach 8 bits. Now, negate this value by applying the twos complement operation. This is the same binary code you see typed out. After doing something similar for 34, but with no need to negate, we can now add. Working from right to left, 1 plus 0 equals 1. Next column, 1 plus 1 equals 1, 0. Bring down the 0 and carry over the 1. Next column, 1 plus 0 plus 0 equals 1. And so on to the end. In this case, we do see a final carryout. We simply discard that ninth bit, and we are left with this 8-bit sum seen here. Checking our work, we see this binary code equates to decimal 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 1, or 29. That is what we expected. And now for an overflow example. We already know it's going to fail just from the slide title. Even without that, we should be suspicious because this decimal sum will be larger than our acceptable 8-bit maximum of positive 127. Regardless, let's work it out and see how it fails. First, through the repeated divide by 2 method and padding with zeros, I write the 8-bit forms of the given decimal numbers. Then I add column by column. Ultimately, I obtain this 8-bit result. When I check this sum, I find it equals decimal negative 114. That can't be right. Positive 108 plus 34 should give positive 142. I could see this even quicker by remembering the general rule with signed binary numbers. A leading one indicates a negative number. It is impossible to add two positive numbers and produce a negative number. Why does this sum fail? Because it falls outside the acceptable bounds for 8-bit signed numbers. Always be on the guard for overflows.